struggle with feelings of guilt? And if so, how do you keep feelings of guilt from consuming your life and sort of taking over, right? I mean, some of us have experienced that, that it's like uh, the guilt can almost be immobilizing. So if that's you, stay tuned. That's what we're going to talk about. Okay, so how do you deal with feelings of guilt? Now, before we dive into this, a little bit of a disclaimer, okay? Uh, what I'm not talking about right now is like you had some moment and you got into a, uh, a heated argument with a friend or a loved one or somebody and you said some hurtful things, you said some mean things, you were wrong, right? And now you're feeling guilt and regret over what happened and what you did, right? That's a different thing. In that sense, guilt is a little bit of a gift, right? It's like, it's like reminding you, oh, hey, I need to own up. I need to reach out to them. I need to make that right. You know what I mean? Like, and, and so if, if that's you, hey, stop the video right now, go call them, go make it right. Like, that's a good thing. In that instance, guilt can be a gift. What, what I'm talking about right now is, is some of us maybe live with a sense of guilt, maybe shame uh, for either our past or where we've been or some season of life that it's like when I look back, I wish I could just hide my face. I, I pretend that that season of my life didn't exist because I'm so embarrassed and ashamed and full of guilt over where that was. Okay, That's what we're talking about. And so how do you deal with that? It turns out the Apostle Paul actually has a lot to say to help us respond to that. Uh, uh, Paul was someone who had a past, like he was a self-righteous religious leader who did bad things. Uh, and then he came to know Jesus and Jesus changed everything for him. And so it, he even talks about places uh, in his life that he has uh, such regret and even guilt over past actions, things that he had done in his past. And so Paul is sort of the perfect person to help us wrestle with this. And he says something in his letter to Christians living in Rome. So I want to read this to you. This is Romans chapter 8. If you've not read Romans chapter 8, it is incredible. But this is how he begins. There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. For the law of the spirit of life has set you free in Christ Jesus from the law of sin and death. This passage is incredible. And in it, the, the Apostle Paul makes an important point. He, he makes this point. Look, if you've come to know Jesus as your Savior, as your Lord, you have been set free from sin, but more than that, you've been set free from condemnation. You've been set free from guilt and shame. This is the gospel, the message of Jesus, that because of what God did for us in Christ, we can be forgiven of our sins and set free. So now, the, now so there's two things, right? If you're, if you're watching this and you're experiencing uh, guilt and shame and regret, over your past and you've not placed your faith in Christ, well, that's your next step. Turn to Jesus because in Jesus, you will find grace and healing and forgiveness and freedom from guilt and shame and condemnation. If you've already placed your faith in Christ, well, you need to make the decision to believe God's promise for you. You need to accept the fact that in Christ, you've been forgiven because of what Jesus did for you. He lived the perfect life you couldn't live so that you could be forgiven. And so choose to believe what God says about you. Because of Jesus, there is no condemnation. There is no shame. There is no guilt. You are forgiven and free.